early morning and uh, I heard thump, thump, thump. I was a bit worried that uh, something was trying to get into my food bag. So I got up and here's a little freaking red squirrel throwing pine cones down <laughs> to the ground. It's still gone. Uh, anyway, I grabbed my bear spray. My air horn was heading back there, making myself very brave. But anyway, I'll let Steve do his thing. I'm going back to sleep. Okay, well, maybe going back to sleep won't happen. But, uh,. I'll stay in the hammock for a while longer. Sun's not quite up yet, and it's raining. So, day five. Well, good morning. Today is day five. Don't know what day. I think it's Saturday today. Um, yeah, I just, uh, let's see, started the day, um, took the food bag down, made my coffee and oatmeal, um, just got cleaned up, filled up my water bottle, and there was some water left in the gravity filter, so I flipped it and I'm doing a backflow now, help keep the filter clean. And yeah, changed the camera battery. I'm on battery number six now. And uh, yeah, I should have enough power to finish off the trip. I think I have two more batteries for the main camera. Um, yeah, tired. Starting to feel it now, you know, day five. Haven't been traveling tons, but you know, when you're sleeping out here, I get good sleep, but uh, you know, it rained last night. I had animal noises early this morning, stuff like that, so 
yeah, it just, you know, it slowly chips away, wears you down a bit. Yeah, so anyway, um, as I wake up, surprisingly still quite tired, two cups of coffee and feel like I should have had five, but I'm just going to pack up and head out. So today I am heading over to uh, Ralph Bice Lake, um, very short trip. Um, not sure what the kilometers or anything are, but it's not very far. I've got just a short paddle on uh, Little Trout. So yeah, I'm on Little Trout right now little way to go on little trout um a portage which i'm not sure how long it is i'll have to check the map but not far i think it's probably like i'm gonna guess at 200 or 250 meters might be 400 something like that but not a big portage uh do that and then i'm on ralph bice so ralph bice has a like a bay or a small lake section then it narrows and then it opens up into uh, the main area where all the campsites are a little bit concerned about two things today I heard some thunder rumbling it's very overcast I don't know if the weather's gonna clear up or get worse from Ralph Bice I could just finish the trip and head out I would just have to do another portage Hambone Lake, another portage, and then Magnetowan. I would like to stay another night. Um, I would like to stay on Ralph Bice and stay on Ralph Bice on a nice campsite, which leads me to the second concern is that because Ralph Bice is so close to the access point, it gets busy. And I've only stayed one other time, and it was packed and like there was only one I was out with Noah and we paddled up to the the far end of the lake and we couldn't find a campsite and then we turned around and head back and we found one and it was really low lying and uh, on this really narrow peninsula it was raining it was just freaking miserable really um, truly like I'm surprised that kid keeps coming out camping with me because we've been through quite a lot you know the tornado and wabakimi and tree come down on our tent and that trip we've had bear come into camp and like <laughs> just so many things but i understand his you know hesitation you know i'd love for him to have a trip that's just you know brilliant all the way through maybe our last magneto one was okay portages were kind of brutal but Anyhow, uh, yeah, I'm off topic, but so I'm hoping that it's not super full over there with people and that I can find a decent campsite. I would really like a nice campsite if it clears up. It's a nice lake. I'd love to, you know, have a nice campsite, be able to go for a swim later, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, just hang out at camp, do a bit of filming and then leave the next day. So we'll see. If I get there and the only spot is that low-lying little peninsula, I think that I will just skip out of town and head home. But we'll see. So finish packing. Make sure the GoPros have charged batteries and uh, get out on the water.
Well, I didn't get very far from camp at all. It's, uh, I don't know. Behind me, there's this bend. Actually, if you drew a straight line, you'd probably, that doesn't make any sense for distance, but <laughs> anyway, if you drew a straight line, you'd probably hit my campsite. And anyhow, it started to pour. So I've just uh, tucked in over at a shoreline and uh, I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes. I could actually hear the rain coming. It sounded like, you know, heavy wind through trees and then that. At least I had the good sense to put on my uh, rain shell. I didn't, however, put on my rain pants and they're packed down at the bottom of my dry bag, so. I've been wet before, so that's all right. You know, I've got a pair of shorts packed, so if I get to camp and I'm soaking wet, then I can always throw shorts on and shelter underneath the tarp until, uh, until whenever, but. Yeah, not a big deal. I actually may even have packed another pair of pants, so. Maybe. What's a Jason Eat canoe trip without rain? Okay, well, I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes. I don't know if it's letting up. The clouds are definitely the same. I can't sit here all day. There'll be more shelter in the forest at the portage and that's about a 15 minute paddle. So I think I'll just carry on and uh, get to the portage and just uh, sort myself out later on. Okay, so I'm at the portage and the portage is 435 meters from Little Trout Lake to Ralph Bice Lake. And it looks something like this. Now, I don't know about uh, elevation. I could check my Garmin on that. We'll soon find out. But I assume this portage is gonna be, you know, in fairly good shape as far as portages go because this route is traveled often. Well that wasn't very bad at all. I'm uh, the lake's just up ahead. It's basically just a very small gradual incline then decline and the lake so yeah it's good i'm at the other end of the portage it was a busy portage quite a few people probably three or four other groups um yeah you know i love the fact that i build canoes and uh i should be proud of 
the work that I do. Um, I always find it kind of em embarrassing. I don't know if that's the right word, but, uh, you know, everybody, it's like having a pretty baby, right? Everybody telling me that my canoe's beautiful and stuff like that. A little do they know it's the ugly canoe. Um, but, uh, anyway, it's nice to meet people and nice to talk about life in general as well and if i can encourage other people to try building a canoe then it's definitely definitely worth it um yeah i had a long conversation with ming a minute ago and ming if you watch this video really you should try building a canoe buddy um so ralph bice lake so i'm gonna head out i'm gonna find a campsite from what I hear, there's a couple sites available, um, or at least there were, and uh, yeah, hopefully there's more available. We'll see. I hope I have everything. Well, I just pulled up to the campsite on Ralph Bice. It's on uh, Island. A lot of people like Island sites. I, well, I don't know. I don't care one way or the other. I uh, actually I have one uh, complaint about Island sites, and it's that uh, there's usually a lot less firewood. You know, limited land. Um, but we'll see. Let's see. We'll have a look around. I haven't stayed here, um, so it could be good. Might be tons of firewood. But it's a nice sight anyway. It's got a nice view. And uh, the access, water access, is kind of steep and not awesome. But I'll look around. It's got a, it's on an island, but this site is on little kind of point of the island. So there might be a better spot to get in and out of the water instead of right here in which case I'll just paddle around to that spot and change things up but let's have a quick look fire pit with a couple girls a couple trees here there and there can hang the hammock from there no problem it's uh, relatively close to the fire pit so it's good just walking over to the other side got this little bay here the water looks really nice 
Might be a good spot for a landscape shot later on if it clears up more. Um, good sunset will be somewhere over there, so good to have something in the foreground. As I say that, the sun's coming out more. Bye. 